guys. So we have 2021 Lincoln Navigator uh, stuck in park. So we're gonna pick it up with the wheel lift. Got it up in the air. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my truck in neutral so that it will release the tension on the transmission. Trap the wheels down so that uh, once we release it, it won't go anywhere. And also chuck the wheel as well. got to take off that bottom bolt pull that lever down put the bolt back in and it'll go into neutral first problem we have to take off this whole dust cover oh perfect The problem with these electronic transmissions today they're super annoying okay uh, I if that's a size 10 10 millimeter socket and this one doesn't have a size on it but it goes to an allen key set uh, it's the bigger the bigger size okay hopefully you're getting this in the video Once you take the screw out, this here has to go down. Put it in there, and it's in neutral. As you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but inside the actual truck, you can hear the uh, the beeping that it's in neutral. All right. So once that's in place, just put the ratchet back on in the tightening position. We're not going to crank it too tight, just snug it, because I'm going to have to take it out anyway once it gets to the dealer. Um, but that's it. 
And then when you're done, just simply put these back on, you know, and uh, tighten them up so that you don't lose anything. And that's pretty much it, all right? And uh, yeah, so that's it, that's done. So if you found the video helpful, uh, just give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also guys, when you're done putting it back, uh, when you can put it back in pocket, just undo it the same way, you, the opposite way, of the, uh, the way you did it first time. Unscrew it, this will kick back up, put the screw back in. Anyway, I'll show you when I get to the deal and I'll put it back in park. All right, but basically you would just take this, unscrew it, let this piece go back up, put the screw back in, tighten it, and that's it, it'll be back in park. All right, thank you for watching, guys. All right, guys, so uh, fortunately this one has power. So I was able to take off the parking brake because once I lowered it, the uh, parking brake engaged. So just move it back. Put the piece of wood, the wood will hold it in place. And then that's it. I'll put the parking brake on because I know that it works. Shut that off. And now we'll wrap this up, get it loaded and get it on its way. I don't understand why some of these companies don't just make a simple pull cord. Don't mind the gloves. I have no gloves inside. I just didn't put them on yet. But like Ford, the new Ford Escape, they made it so easy. It's just you pop off a cover, almost like the town and countries and the Chrysler Pacificas. Well, the Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, you pull out a cover on the dashboard. And then it has a pull tab. And that's it. You pull it, it's in neutral. You pull it again, it's in park. Don't understand why they just couldn't do that all around for every single vehicle. Just make it easy for everybody. Right. So this customer said that yesterday she broke down, the car didn't want to turn back on, did that auto stop feature where it turns off, turns back on in traffic, and that was it. It wouldn't turn back on. She called roadside, roadside took forever to get to her. Uh, it just took longer and longer and longer. Eventually she had someone come and tow the vehicle to her house, um, but they dragged the vehicle onto the bed because they couldn't get it into neutral. And uh, so basically somebody dragged it up the bed and just shook it off in front of her house. She put my stuff away. it off here and she broke down like nine in the morning and I don't think they it was like four o'clock in the afternoon they still didn't show up oh she just wasn't happy so she called us and we're here came first thing in the morning got in my truck and came straight out to her residence So, 
hook up here. And now we can bring it up to bed. take pictures of everything you do you noticed right there it's got a uh, damage on it so take a picture Blame for anything. <sighs> and there we have it. It is in neutral, it's rolling, not being dragged. one forward so we'll put the parking brake on it so that it has a brake uh, and then we'll just strap it down and go okay that's done transmission out of park yes i know okay that's it. and when you're working on these trucks if you get underneath it or whatever and you have the door open do not put your fingers up here I mean, you have clearance, but, well, not really. But just don't put your fingers anywhere near the running board, because if the wind blows the door, or uh, someone closes the door, or whatever, and your fingers are there, you're going to have an issue. All right. Okay. Come on, why do it look twisted? Let's have some new straps. do this to myself. Such an idiot. Should come out though. Just have it some a couple times, it's okay.
Now, if you don't want to climb under the vehicle to get it into neutral, then you can use skates. Just put uh, four skates uh, in front of each wheel, like right here. And then when you pull it, it'll slide on all four skates. Some guys use WD-40, some guys use soap and water, um, some guys use bubbles. Me personally, I don't like to put any type of slippery substance on the bed because I do move toolboxes, motorcycles, so I prefer not to have anything oily on the bed. Um, have I done it in the past? Yes. But I'll simply just buy some cleaning products right after and clean it right away. I do not leave the bed oily. It's too much of a hazard for me. Okay. That's it, put the wood away, and I'll see you on a drop. All right, so we're at the dealer. Um, still in neutral, and they are gonna take it from here, so it won't be going underneath to put it back in park. But at least I showed you uh, earlier in the video, so you know how to put it back in park. You just basically would reverse the steps that you did to get it into neutral. Also, I put a strap there holding backwards because the cable is pulling from the back forward. And that would be holding towards the back. Not that it's going to go anywhere because it's got the eight point tie down strap. But it's basically like a safety catch. That God forbid something were to happen it would uh, stop the vehicle from rolling forward. cable's pulling forward, that's pulling back, so it'll kind of hold it in place. I put the parking brake on because you can take it on and off. This way it doesn't go rolling. Huh? Oh, it's the back. I don't think it's the cover. Oh, I know what this is. Oops, sorry. Okay. All right, keys on the dashboard. Thank you, buddy. You got it.
ada And now I gotta load up another vehicle Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Did I seriously leave my tools on? 